It is time again to give yourself the great gift, and that is time of extended prayer. To get in the core of you, deep inside of you, to stay and to, to grow and to become more magnificent than the initial prayer itself. I pray that right now you feel this at depth. Close your eyes and join me in this prayer and meditation. It says in Galatians, But the fruit of the Spirit is gentleness. May you feel the gentleness of God now inside of you deep. How wonderful to know that God is here. It says in the Bible, Now the natural human receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, but they can't know them because they are spiritually judged. May you now know things beyond, above your human mind. May you enter into that that is spiritually for you. You now enter into a special house, not made with hands. You enter into a special house made with words and thoughts. This special house is your eternal inheritance. And by intuition, you become guided to the shining light of a stage inside of you that is well, happy, strong, and noble. The mind of your human mind opens. Your true self, that philosophers have so long said could be free inside of you, shows itself in all of its glory with purified wisdom, strength, and wholeness. You are about to see the glory of the good, the holiness of the complete commanding vision inside of your consciousness. You are about to lay hold of the good with great words of welcome. Today, there is a fusion of your human mind and divine mind. Something is stirring inside of you. There is a welding, a binding together of your human mind and divine mind. There is a true fusion that is taking place. Rest in the silence of prayer and allow this to take place, for this to dwell inside of you. Inside of your mind, you are able to see things on the great stage of the divine. You are able to say clearly with your mouth and your tongue truth as it comes to your mind. Your words are going to take on added power of God. Your words are going to take on divine power. In the Bible, it states, Take with you words and return unto Jehovah. There is a shining forth inside of you, a truth, a silent, still voice that speaks loudly in the inner recesses of your mind. It empowers you with all God power. You have an inner knowing that God is with you this moment. You are not just attending a service. You're not just attending a church. You are attending a welcome into a new state of consciousness, a new way of thinking, a new way of speaking. You are entering a new life gladly and freely. 
You consent to this now. You say, yes, I want this now. With total consent of your human self, you are walking across the threshold and through the doorway of a brand new life, a brand new reality, a brand new thinking and speaking. There is a shining God power that comes forth from you. There is a light that is beaming across your own world. The light is the vibratory power of your spoken word. There is new power behind your voice. There is new power empowering you. You know the truth. You speak the truth. Only steady, shining truth will accomplish all that you wish to accomplish. And it is coming forth. You agree this moment not to divide your mind with doubt. You concentrate completely and totally on God. You agree this moment not to divide your thought with sense. You agree at this moment to be stable in all ways in thinking and then in speaking. You make this commitment now. You make it for the rest of your life. In this moment of the silence of prayer through the power of Jesus Christ, you dedicate your mouth to upliftment, your tongue to upliftment and positive words, and your vocal cords to a higher standard of life in you and those around you and towards the situations in your life. Your voice and the vibratory power coming forth from it will henceforth be dedicated to the glory of God. Every word that you utter will be for truth and for God. In the joy of this service of doing this, in the name of Jesus Christ, we say thank you, God. Amen.